so previously, okay, what we done is we already uh, okay, we already uh, learned how to do the city smooth. Okay, which is this is the step yeah? Step number one. Okay, you need to clear the TSNT. Step number two. Okay, you need to load the OCR. Okay, there are what we call here. This is the things okay in order to load the OCR, right? You you need to use this what we call okay, this formula here OCR equal to TCNT plus count minus one, in which TSCNT's value is always zero. And then you set your TCCR. Okay, when you did that, okay, you need to do the settings to your TCCR. Next, monitor your OCF registers and stop timers clear the ocf flags and then after that you repeat to step number one okay now we're going to look at this uh what we call here uh examples here okay which is this is the same example that we already look in the normal modes okay so i'm just focusing on this part here that's in here all right so by looking at this delay here, okay, you see here the TCNT equal to zero. So this is the, your first step. Okay, and then after that, OCR zero equal to nine, which is this is where is your second step, uh, right? Which is you need to load your OCR value based on the equation that you already get, okay, uh, equation that you use, okay, and then. This is the third one here, which is TCCR0 sama dengan OX009. So this is the third step, okay, which is TCCR0. Okay, you need to recall back your TCCR0. Okay. So this is the bit. Lah. Okay, bit 6 and bit 3, which is this is where your TCCR settings Okay, if you put zero zero normal mode, if you put zero one, what happened here? So this is a CTC mode. Okay, and then this is where your pre scale. Okay, so pre scale since this is a zero nine, so you know that the value here is a zero 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 four zero, and nine is eight four two one by using a four eight four two one, which is one zero zero one. So you know that this is a CTC mode. Why CTC mode? Because this is a zero and this location is one. So you know that this is a CTC mode. And the value on the prescale is zero, zero, 001 means that there is no prescale use. So that's why timer zero CTC mode, no prescale. Right, so next step number four. Okay, so this is a step number four, four which is you need to monitor the OCF flex. Okay, you see here. Okay, previously we used the and the same uh, coding, but okay, the difference here is only that sekarang kita tukar jadi OCF0. Previously, we used a TOV0. Okay, now we change it to OCF0. And then step number five. So this is the same, sama juga. Step number five, which is, all right, uh, you stop your timer. Step number six, TIFR sama dengan OX02. Why OX02? If you recall back your TIFR, okay, so this is your TIFR. The value zero two that you got put here is actually this is, this is the value kosong 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 kosong. This is for zero, and two is zero zero one zero. Okay, so here in this location, actually this is a OCF zero. Flex. Okay, so in this location, bit number satu ni, okay, this is a OCF0 flex, while this location here, this is for TOV0 flex. So that's why the value here, now, instead of using 0x01, okay, for the overflow mode, now we use the 0x02. Ataupun, if you don't want to use this one here, you can simply write TI, okay, saya letak sini ya. TIFR equal to okay shift one to the location of sorry OCF kosong 
cone summon juga which is quite similar okay which is equivalent to this one okay so that is for the uh, using the ctc mode all right so this is the explanation of what happened in this program here okay you can look it by yourself okay now you're going to look at these uh, examples okay you are assuming that you have an external of 8 megahertz okay kita ada external 8 megahertz and you are going to write a program to generate a delay of 25.6 millisecond okay so delay sama dengan 25.6 milliseconds use timer 0 ctc mode okay dia kata kat situ timer 0 ctc and prescale sama dengan 1024 okay so this is your prescale okay first what you going to do okay so since this is a ctc mode so what you're going to do here is you need to find what is your ocr value how to find the ocr value okay by using an equation okay first t sama dengan one over f right in which we have a prescale of one zero two four okay so you need to find your new f f new sama dengan f divided with prescale so 8 megahertz you divide with 1024 you will get 7.8125 kilo hertz Okay, so once you get this one here, okay, then you find out what is your T. T sama dengan 1 bahagi 1 bahagi dengan 7.8125 kilohertz. And you will get this value here is 0 0.128 millisecond or equivalent to 1 to 8 microseconds. Okay. Next, number two. Okay, number two. Nak buat apa? For the number two. So, number two. Okay, you. What you're going to do here is. Alright, you need to find the. By using the second equation, which is delay. Sama dengan. Count. Times T. Okay, you already have T and delay so now you're going to find out what is your count count equal to delay what is your delay delay is 25.6 millisecond divided by t which is 1 to 8 or 0 0.1 to 8 millisecond then you will get berapa dah dapat kat sini anyone ratus. So you will get 200 times. Okay, and then after that, we go to step number three, okay, which is uh, OCR sama dengan TC and T plus count minus one. Okay, so from here, T, C, and T is zero lah. All right. Count is 200 minus with one. Okay, then you will get sama dengan 199. So, this is the OCR value. Okay, you need to put 199 to your OCR. Okay, then after that, okay, we are just focusing on the what we call here on the programming side yeah okay on the timer pro programming side sejak 
Alright, so let's try to start with Okay, so this is the avoid delay and then first what you're going to do okay tcnt0 okay this is the first step lah tcnt0 okay you make it as a zero okay because that is the first step is clear your tcnt the second step is ocr zero okay you put it with one nine nine so this is in decimal number okay you can use it use hexa decimal means that you need to convert dah hulalah 199 convert to hexa decimal then you will get the what we call hexa decimal number all right and then next step number three okay what will be the step number three okay find out what your is your thesis TCCR0. So TCCR0 sama dengan 0B. Okay, you can put a 0B or you can use a 0X. Okay, find out what is your TCCR0. Okay, so this bit 6, bit 3. Okay, so this bit here you need to put with 0, 1. Okay, what about the pre-scale here? Pre-scale kat belakang ni. 1024 what would be the value here for the 1024 one, 1 is it one. okay so 101 one. so 101 one. so the rest you put zero okay so 0b zero, 0000 zero, 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 and 1101 one. ataupun you can write in 0x okay the value is 8, 4, 2, 1, which is 12, 13, 13 is A, B, C, D, 0, D. So, this is the equivalent. Lah. Alright. And then, step number 4, monitor the OCF flag. So, Y, P, I, F, R, and with, okay, you're going to monitor your OCF flag. So, OCF 0, is it? equal to zero if yes it will keep repeating here monitoring here if not what happened here is okay you stop your timer okay by put a zero to your ccr zero and then after that reset your tifr which is reset your ocf zero for the next delay generation okay so here is you can put ocf for some okay and then Put your end clear bracket here. So this is your delay. Okay, to generate a 25.6 millisecond using a timer zero CTC mode with a pre scale of 1024 and X scale is 8 mega. That's okay. So any question up until here? Okay, we already finished the timer zero. Ada soalan tak untuk timer zero? Any question from you? Okay, if no question, then we move on to the timer two programmings. Okay, for the timer two programmings. Okay, timer two is a eight bit. This sama juga, it is a eight bit. Okay, therefore it would the same way as timer. Zero. Okay, so whatever you learn in timer zero, you can apply it to, to your timer two. Okay, there are two differences between timer zero and timer two. Okay, so since timer two can be used as a real time counter in timer, sorry, timer zero, okay, can be used as a real time counter, which is you can make your timer zero as the count to count an event but timer two timer two you cannot do that okay because in timer two that there, there is more pre-scale option can be found okay you you see here inside of the pre-scale option okay previously we only 
can select up to four prescale option. But in timer two, you have six prescale option, which is eight, 32, 64, one to eight, two, five, six, and one zero to four. Previously, untuk timer zero, we only have eight, 64, two, five, six, and one zero to four. And bawah ni, we can use UCS to, uh, to, uh, to count and event but for timer two you cannot count uh, an event because there is no uh, okay. clocks okay for the to count an event okay the way to do a programming similar to timer zero okay so just change that okay you need to change the this register here okay all of this register here instead of using a timer zero okay so now you can change it to two two Two. here is two and all you change it to two so now you using a timer two okay programming all right next moving on to the next slide okay so now we are going to look at this timer one programming okay so this is the most uh one of the most important thing, uh parts here okay why because timers one programming it is it is a 16 bits timer and has a lot of capabilities why because the size is 16 bit okay so the number of count count can be up to 65000 okay so you can generate a larger delay okay a larger delay compared to timer 0 and timer 2 right so since timer 1 is a 16 bit timer so it could split into two byte okay every time you have a 16 bit number Okay, you need to split it into two byte, which is a low byte and high byte. All right, so here, this is a, your TCNT. Okay, so TCNT can be divided into low byte and high byte, which is TCNT1L for the lower byte and TCNT1H for the high byte. Okay, so this is a 16 bit. You can see here from bit 0 until bit 15. Okay, you divided it to two bytes. Okay, eight bits for TCNT1L and another eight bit for TCNT1. Hish. And next, timer two has two control register. Okay, which is TCCR1A and TCCR1B. Previously, we only have one TCCR, but now we have two TCCR. Okay, you need to know lah which TCCR that you need to to look at. Okay, for the uh, timer mode and and then for the free scale option. And TOV1 flex, okay, will go high whenever the overflow occurs. Okay, this is similar to timer 0 and timer 2. And timer 1 has a free scale option of no free scale. 8, 64, 256, 1, 0, 2, 4, which is this is equal uh similar to timer zero okay the pre skill option for timer one and timer zero uh same okay and then there are two ocr register for timer one okay ada dua ocr register which is ocr 1a and ocr 1b okay you can choose either you're going to use a ocr 1a for compare match or you going to use the second register OCR1B for your CTC mode. Okay, so whenever the TCNT1 equal to OCR1A, so what happened here is the OCF1A will be high. Okay, if you're going to choose the OCR1B, so you need to compare OCR1B with your TCNT1. And whenever this value are uh, equals, so OCF1B will go high. So this is the what we call it, uh, simplified diagram of timer one. Okay, moving on to the TIFF, TIFR register. Okay, we're going to look at the Katmania location of the flex register for the timer one. So for the timer one, okay, the location of the flex register is somewhere around here. Okay, big two, three, and Four. Okay, bit two for TOV1. Three is for OCF1B. 
okay ctc mode but using the os uh, 1b register and the fourth bit is for ocf 1a which is the flag for the ctc mode okay and for the ocr 1a registers okay so you you're going to look at this location bit 2 bit 3 and bit 4. okay and moving on to the this slides here so this is your tccr 1a and tccr 1b okay since your uh, settings you have two uh, you have uh it is a uh, have a uh, two register which is 8 bit for the tccr 1a and another 8 bit for tcr 1b okay now we're going to look at what is the bit that you need to focus or need to know okay in order to do the timers one settings okay the first one here good job i'm going to okay okay let's look at the uh mode setting okay for the mode setting okay we're going to look at wgm13 okay wgm13 wgm12 wgm11 and wgm110 okay so this is for the mode setting okay you need to look at four bits here okay four location okay wgm13 wgm12 which is located at tccr 1b and wgm11 wgm10 is located at tccr 1a so d is for the mode settings okay so what is the mode that you're going to use okay first this value here 0 0 0 0 0 0 so d is for the normal mode 0 1 Zero, 0 so this is for the ctc using the ocr 1a okay and the third one here the third is one one zero zero ctc for the ocr 1b okay so please make correction yeah? this is ocr 1b okay you're going to compare with ocr 1b okay so according to this uh what we call here Okay, you, you see uh, at this bit here, WGM10 and WGM11, the value of this bit always zero. Okay, you see that? Okay, the value of this bit always zero. So you can conclude that, okay, TCCR0, uh, sorry, TCCR1A, okay, nothing to, to set at this register. Okay, for the mode setting because the value always zero. Okay, meanwhile, at WGM13, WGM12, okay, the value will vary according to the set, uh, the mode that you're going to use. Either zero, zero for normal mode. Okay, zero, one. CTC by using the OCR 1A to compare and 10 CTC by using the OCR 1B to compare. Okay, that's it. Figure the setting that's it. Normal mode CTC using the OCR 1A and another CTC using the OCR 1B. Alright. So that is for the what we call here the the mode settings okay now you're going to look at the prescale okay where is the prescale kat mana dia punya prescale okay the prescale is around this year this bit cs10 cs11 and cs12 inside of the tccr1 bit register okay so this is the prescale punya option okay which is 000 stop timer 001 Prescale one, no prescaling. Okay, zero zero one zero one zero is eight prescale eight, followed by sixty four, two five six, one zero two four, and when you use the one one zero, so this is 
external clock source on T1 pin, which is falling edge triggered, and 111, it is similar. Okay, you put an, uh, the, your clock source to your T1 pin, and the event will, the TCNT value will increase on rising edge. Okay, so some, uh, to summarize, Okay, TCCR1A always put zero, while TCCR1B, okay, the value here according to the mode setting and the free scale that you're going to use. Okay, so this is the summarized from the TCCR1A, okay. your timer one settings. Any question up until here? Ada soalan tak? Okay, once we finish this setting, yeah, we know what the setting that you're going to do. Okay, which register that you're going to use. Okay, now we're going to look at, okay, how to write a program for the timer one. Okay, so first we're looking at the normal mode lah. Okay, so this is the normal mode. Okay, in which for the normal mode, okay, the value for the WGM, okay, you need to put zero, sorry, you need to put zero, 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 okay, from WGM13, WGM110. So in the normal mode, okay, the time, uh, the timer, okay, comes up until it reach FFFF. Why? Because this is a 16 bit. Okay, previously we have FF only. But now we have FFFF, and then it will roll over from FF to 00. zero. Then what happened here? The overflow occurs. Okay, when rollover, TOV1 flag will be set. Okay, so this is your TCNT. All right, and so the value will keep increasing until FFFF and when FFF roll over to zero now what happen the TOV1 will be set okay then you need to clear your TOV1 for the next counting okay for the next uh delay generation or to uh, to to start the TCNT counting again Okay, for the CTC mode, okay, so this is the setting lah that you need to put. Okay, this is by using the OCR1A register for the comparison lah, okay, to compare. Okay, so this is the setting 0, 1, 0, 0. So in the CTC mode, the timer count up until the content of your TCNT1, okay, which is this is 60 bit, and OCR1A. So this is another 16 bit register. Then timer will be clear when the next clock occurs. So here, first what you need to do is you, you put a label here. Okay, and then uh, the TCNT will keep increase until it reach this level. What happened? Okay, OCF1A will be set. Okay, and then after that, the timer clear, okay, when the next clock occurs, okay, so the TCNT value will be load with a zero for the next counting clock or for the next delay generation, okay, the step is similar to timer one and timer zero, okay, sama juga dia punya, the way to do a programming, CTC mode, normal mode is similar for timers with the timer zero programming. Okay, so let's look at this example. Right, assuming, okay, you have the external of eight megahertz. Okay, and then you're going to write a toggle once per millisecond. Okay, so external sama dengan 8 megahertz. And then, Raw, this is your 
8 mega 32 you have a pb pb5 here okay and then you're going to toggle okay this pb5 toggle means something like this lah first one zero give one zero okay and the delay is one millis second okay so how to do that okay mula -mula you need to find out lah all right so you need to find out what is the okay first we uh, we do the normal programming Okay, normal timer programming, and then after that we we do the CTC, right? So mula mula, what you need to do is you we need to do a calculation. Okay, so T sama dengan one over F. Since this is a timer, what we call here timer one. Okay, so since it is only one millisecond, I think no need to use the pre scale. Okay, we can. Uh, use the same frequency okay so one divided by eight megahertz okay you will get okay what will you will get 0 0.125 microseconds okay so this is your t okay and then delay sama dengan all right t multiply with count okay now you're going to find out what is your count so count equal to delay so delay is one millisecond and then divided with 0 0.125 microsecond okay you will get eight thousand times okay since this eight thousand times is smaller than 65k okay smaller than 65k so you can use lah this number here to put it to your tc and t all right so now this okay this is for the normal mode eh? normal mode okay by using a normal mode tc and t sama dengan f f f F, okay, minus count plus one, okay, which is what is F F F F? Can you convert to hexadecimal? Is it sixty five thousand five hundred thirty five? Betul tak? F F F F. Betul. Okay, so tolak lapan ribu. Minus 8,000 plus with 1. So, what you get here? Berapa dapat? Dapat 575, 35. 575? 36. 36. Okay, so this is the value lah that you're going to put. Okay, if you're using a normal mode. Okay, what happens if you're going to use a CTC mode? Okay, kita cari je tu. For the CTC mode. Okay, so what is the formula for the CTC mode? CTC sama dengan OCR equal to TC and T plus count minus 1. Okay, TC and T always 0. So here is a 0 plus 8,000 minus 1, you will get 7,999. Okay, so now what you're going to do here is Okay, so it is advised for you to change this value here. Okay, instead of using uh, what we call here decimal number kamu tukar kepada Hexa decimal number number because some compiler we can send sixteen bit with uh, no uh, no problem with, without any error okay without any issues but some compiler cannot read sixteen bit number 
okay it you need to uh, send 8 bit by 8 bit so that's why i ask you to change this value here to what we call here to uh hexadecimal, decimal and then after that we do the programming parts okay so untuk yang ni berapa 57536 siapa nak tolong e0c0 okay e0c0 eh so e0 C zero seven nine 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 nine. One F three F. One F three F. Okay, so by looking at this here, okay, so now since this is sixteen bit number, so you can uh, divide it into two lah. Okay, so this is a low byte, this is a high byte. So low byte, high byte. Okay, so I won't go more details on this main program here kita nak tengok dekat sini je okay i will do the programming for the timer only okay yang atas ni sama je lebih kurang sebelum ni kita buat okay we already did this part in the previous uh, examples okay so now we do the normal mode first okay so this is a normal mode okay so void let's put the name of the delay a void delay one millisecond so this is the delay names okay and firstly first what are you going to do for normal mode load your tc and t all right so tc and t so we have a Two TCNT, one is high and one is low. Betul tak? Because it is a 16 bit, so you have two TCNT, TCNT, one L, TCNT, one H. Okay, so that's why I I need you to use the hexadecimal decimal compared to decimal number because in hexadecimal you can divide it into low byte and high byte okay so this is the step number one load the tcnt one right so what will be the value okay for the tcnt one l the value would be c0 so you put 0 x c0 what about tcnt high for the high byte high byte you put e0 so 0 x e Zero. Okay, so this is a step number one, which is you load your TCNT one. Okay, step number two. What is step number two? Set your TCCR. Okay, do the TCCR setting. Okay, so TCCR timer one. You have two TCCR. One is a one A, and the second one here is TCCR one B. Okay, for the 1A, the value always zero lah. Okay, we already figured out that for the 1A, okay, the value for the TCCR 1A always zero. What about the TCCR 1B? Okay, so for the TCCR 1B, kena tengok balik lah. Okay, so this is your bit. Okay, you need to... Okay, so this is your WGM13, WGM12, and this is your prescale. Okay, without prescale, we know that without prescale, the value is 101. Sorry, not 1001, 001. This is no prescale. Okay, what about the this bit here, bit 4 and bit 3 for the normal mode? What value that you need to put here for the normal mode? Zero. Zero, zero. 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 So this is a normal mode. Okay. So the rest is you just put zero B zero 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 one. So what happened here is normal mode. No prescale. Okay. Step number three. What? Is step number three. Okay, you're going to monitor the TOV flex. How to monitor the TOV flex? By using the while loop. 
okay, Y, T, I, F, R, okay, and with, okay, check bit, is it, okay, so you need to check at T O V one, is it equal to zero? Okay, if not, it will keep, uh, if yes, it will keep monitoring here. If not, what happened? It will exit from this while loop and you need to stop your timer. Okay, how to stop a timer? By put TCC R1A with zero and TCC R1B with zero. So this is step number four. Stop your timer. And step number five. What is step number five? Okay, you need to clear your TOV1 flex. How to clear your TOV1? Okay, by putting TIFR equal to okay, shift one to a location of TOV1. Ataupun tak nak guna ni. Okay, you don't want to use this shifting. Okay, you need to figure out lah what is the Okay, so TIFR, so let's give your TIFR. Okay, and this is your TOV1. Betul tak? Okay, so we look back. TIFR, okay, at bit number. Okay, here. Alright, so you need to put this value lah. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. Which is equivalent to TIFR sama dengan OX, 0, 4. Okay, and step number 6 is close the bracket and it will keep repeating okay so this is for the normal mode okay which is this lah okay this is the for the normal mode what about for the ctc mode okay sama juga okay we follow the steps okay for the ctc mode okay so i uh, i put it here okay so this is for ctc mod okay step number one what is your step number one for the ctc mod okay ctc mod step number one you need to clear your tc and t okay so tc tc and t1 l equal to zero tc and T1H equal to 0. Okay? Clear your TCNT. After you clear your TCNT, what happened here? Step number 2. Load your OCR value. What is your OCR value? D is your OCR value. 1F, 3F. Okay? OCR value, you have 2 byte. One is for the lower byte and one is for higher byte. Okay, let's we use the OCR 1E. Okay, we're going to compare with OCR1A. Okay, so OCR1A low. Okay, so this is the value that, you, that you're going to put is 0x3f and OCR1A high sama dengan 0x1f. Okay, this is a step number 2. Step number three. What is your step number three? Okay, do the TCCR settings. Okay, so TCCR one A. Okay, the setting you can you need to set at two register. One is at one A and the other one is at one B. Okay, TCCR one A always zero. What about TCCR one B? Okay, now you you're going to nila. 0, 1, and 1, 0. So what will be the value here? At bit 4 and 3? 0, 1. 
Okay, zero one if you're going to compare with OCR one A. Okay, so this is the value zero B sama dengan kosong 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 one zero zero one. Or you can replace with zero X zero nine. Right? Can I put it at us? Okay, so this is step number three. Step number four. Okay, monitor. Okay, silap pula. Okay, monitor your T or C F one A flex. Okay, you need to monitor the S by using the Y loops. Okay, so Y T I F R and with okay. O C F one A. Is it equal to zero? If yes, it will keep repeating. Okay, it will keep monitoring until O C F one A sama dengan satu. Okay, and when when the O C F one A equal to one, this is step number five, which is you need to stop your timer. Okay. C C C T C C R one A put zero and T C C R one B you put zero as well. So this is how you're going to stop the timer. And step number six, clear your O C F one A flex. Okay. So how to do that? T I F R equal to put one to your O C F one. Okay, if you don't want to do this, okay, so what you need to do? Okay, you need to figure out huh? in TIFR, what is the location of your OCF1A? So the OCF1A, if not mistaken, they dekat this position, this location, OCF1A. Okay, you need to look back to the TIFR register. Okay, so this is your T I one three T I F R register. Okay, so here bit number four. Okay, for the O C F one A. Okay, so now we continue back here. So here bit at this bit. Okay, so the value here is. Ataupun you can make it. Aku saya tahu yang tulis ni. T R F R equal to zero x one zero. Okay, so this is yeah. Okay, kosong 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 satu. Kosong 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 kosong, which is equivalent to one zero. And step number seven, okay. Oh, I forgot ya earlier. Kat sini tadi sebelum kita tulis this year, okay, you need to put your uh, what you call the delay function, okay? So delay one milli seconds. Okay, and step number seven. You close your clear brackets. Okay, so that's it. Okay, you already did the programming for timer one using a normal mode and using the CTC mode. Okay, any question up until here? Ada soalan tak? No question, Dr. Okay, if no question, okay, we move on to the next slides. Okay, timer one generally largest large time delay using a prescaler. Okay, again, okay, so this is just for the recap. Okay, the size of time delays depending on two factors, which is the speed of your frequency, your ester, 
and the size of your TCNT. Okay, since Diamond One it is a it is a sixteen bit, so you can generate more delay compared to eight bit timer. Okay, so use the prescale option in the TCCR one B to increase the delay by reducing the period. Okay, you can increase the delay by using the prescale. Okay, so the prescale option that available in timer one is eight. 64, 256, and 1024. Okay, the way you're going to increase is similar to what we did for timer 0. Okay, so that's it for the timer 1 programming. Okay, we already learned about the timer 1, timer 0, timer 2 by using either normal mode and CTC mode. Any question up until here? Okay, if no question, now we move on to the next slide. Okay, so now we're going to do a, a counter. Okay, kita nak buat counter. Previously, we generate a delay. Okay, because we know that timer have two functions, either to generate a delay or to count an event, which is you make it as a counter. Okay, so now we're going to look looking at this, the second function here. Okay, counter. All right, the AVR timer can also use to count or to detect and measure the time event happening outside the AVR. Okay, you count a certain event that happened to AVR. Tonto. Okay, if you're going to count uh, uh, how many how many cars enter your premise, your car park. Okay, you can use this counter here. Okay, you just put the sensors. And that sensors, okay, you connect to your T1P, okay, as your clock source. Then after that, it, every time the card goes through your sensor and the counter register will keep increasing. Okay, so the when the timer is used as a timer, okay, the AVR crystal is used as the source of the frequency. Okay, kalau kita gunakan di, jadi timer, your ester become your source frequency. But when the timer is used as a counter, okay, the pulse outside of the AVR that will increment the TCNT value. Okay, and this pulse, okay, to increase the TCNT, okay, your counter register depending on two factors. Either you're going to use a falling edge or rising edge. If you use a falling edge, what happens is every time okay, your, the, the signal, okay, the microcontroller sends a falling edge, it will increase the counter register, your TCNT. And if you use the rising edge, so every time the CPU sends this rising edge, which is like from the logic zero to logic one, then after that, it will increase the TCNT value. So in a counter mode, register size TCCR, OCR, TCNT are the same as for timer discussed previously. It means that the way you do the programming is actually a quite similar. Lah, okay, because we have to set the TCCR value. Okay, if we use the CTC mode, okay, we need to find out what is the OCR value. If you use a uh, normal mode or overflow mode, okay, you need to uh, initialize what is your TCNT value. Okay, so recall back, okay, in TCCR0, okay, there are two bits inside here, uh, three bits here, zero, bit zero, and until bit zero two, which is, we call it as a CS02 and until CS00, okay, this bit here, will decide the source of the clock and the prescale use. Okay, so when CS between 0, 0, 001 until 101, 1, so it will determine lah what is your prescale option. And when the value is between 110 and 111, 1, 1, 
Okay, so this timer is used as a counter and get the pass from source outside AVR. Okay, so when this value here, either you use a 110 or 111, TCNT0 counter count up as a pass flat from pin T0, okay, which is timer counter zero external clock input, okay, dekat T0 sini. Okay, where is the location of T0? Here. PB0. Okay, another feature for PB0 is as your clock source for the to count an event, okay, which is at pin number one. So this is where you need to put your uh, counters. Okay, or you can put your sensors here. So in Armega32, okay, T0 is alternative function of port B0. Okay, so when CS0, CS02, CS00 is 110 or 111, pin T0 will provide the clock pass and counter count ups after each clock pass coming from T0 pin. Okay, let's look at this example here. Okay, find the value of TCCR0. Okay, if you're going to program timer 0, normal mode counter nampak tak it, it is the same uh, mode which is normal mode but now you're going to make it as a counter okay use an external clock for the clock source and increment of the positive edge okay and, and it says that it, it will increment on the positive edge okay so looking back at your tccr0 so this is your tccr0 You have a eight bit. Okay, you need to look at bit six and bit three. Okay, this is a bit six and bit three, and this is your free state. Okay, so since it is a normal mode, so you need to put zero lah the at this both bit. And now we are look going to set this counter here. Okay, since this counter here is increment on every positive is okay so you need to find out what is the value that you're going to put to this uh, bits here either it is one one zero ataupun one 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 because we're going to use it as a counter so this it is only option lah that you will have okay for the one one zero okay the counter will count up every falling edge if you use choose a one 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 the counter will count up every rising edge. So in this example here, okay, we going need to use a positive edge figure, means that it is a rising edge, so you need to put one, one, one. Okay, so the value here is setting here for the TCCR zero is, is zero B zero 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 one one one. Okay, so you know that. normal mode is used make it as a counter with a rising edge okay ataupun you can simply write tccr0 equal to 0x07 benda yang sama okay so this is for timer 0 lah okay what about for timer 1 Okay, sama juga lah. Okay, similarly for the timer one, when CS1210 is either 110 or 111, okay, the clock pulse coming from pin T1 port B1 makes the TCNT1 counter count up. Okay, you, you need to choose lah either. It is a 110 or 111. Okay, 110 is a calling is and 111 is a rising and put it to your TCCR 1B. Okay, make the setting for the TCCR 1B. Okay, for let's timer timer 1. Eh? The same things here. Okay, we are going to use a timer 1. So TCCR 1A, this one always 0. What about TCCR 1B? TCCR 1B, okay, the value here is, okay, can I recall back? This is a TCCR 1B.
mode setting is at this bit here and this is the pre-scale okay you can choose either 110 or 111 and mode setting for normal mode is 00 okay so similar 0 b 0 0 0 0 and 0 1 1 1 okay so you know that this is normal mode and this is the counter settings okay let's look at these examples here all right assuming that a uh, one hertz clock pass okay deal is fed into pin t0 at pb0 okay so you are going to write a program for counter zero in a normal mode okay it says that counter zero normal mode to count the pass on a falling edge and display the state of the tc and t count on port c okay means that you have a here okay so this is your pb0 pb0 is connected to a clock which is uh this is produce a one megahertz uh, sorry one hertz clock pass all right so you're going to write a program for counter zero in normal mode to count the pass on the falling edge so every falling edge it will increase the tc and t Okay, so how to do that? Okay, this is uh, how uh, this is the uh, the solution uh, in the assembly language. But okay, we are going to use the uh, what we call here C programming. Okay, before that, we we have uh, satu lagi show the TC and T zero. Okay, whatever your T is TC and T zero, you going to put it to show it on your port C. So you have a port C here, which is connected to your LEDs. Okay, so now we're going to do the programming. First, hashtag include m32 def dot silap. Sorry, sorry, silap. Not include f 2 f dot inc, which is Okay, so first, what you're going to do? Okay, you're going to include this file. Okay, the same file here. abr slash io dot h. Okay, so this is equivalent to mt 2 dev dot inc. So abr slash io dot h. Right, and then next. int main what okay you started with your main programs so under main program mula mula what we need to do is here we need to initialize lah, port b0 as a output port is it a output port or input port pb0 input okay input okay because you you need to uh read this uh clocks here to your pb0 what about your port c port c is your output port okay so d d r c sama dengan o x f f and d d r b sama dengan okay you can simply write something like this Ataupun, if you don't want to like uh, this one here, uh, do this after shifting, you can write D, D, R, B. Okay, mix 0, B, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, Okay, 
And next, what are you going to do? Okay, since this is uh, what we call here uh, counter, okay, you're going to make it as a, as a counter, okay, why not we clear the TCNT first, okay, so we just clear the TCNT, the TCNT 0 equal to 0, so you clear your TCNT. And then is step number one. Lah. Step number two, you do the setting. Okay, so the setting here is okay, counter zero normal mode falling H. Okay, so falling draw gate. So normal mode is a zero zero here. What about the falling edge? What value that you need to put for the falling edge? Is it one 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 or one one zero? One one zero. Okay, one one zero. Okay, so this is a falling edge. Okay, so the value is zero 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 and zero one one or it is similar to TCCR0 equal to 0x06. Okay, and then step number three. What is step number three? Okay, step number three. Okay, we're going to monitor the TOV flex. Huh? Why? Okay, TIFR and with TOV0 is it sama dengan kosong? Okay, if it's okay, so this is monitor. If the TOV0 is still zero, so what happened? Okay, it will keep uh, repeating lah. Okay, and then inside here, okay, so you have an inside of this while loop. Why? Because you're going to send the value. Okay, you see here. Okay, in normal mode, to count the pulses on the falling edge and display the state to the, of the TC and T0 to your port C. So now you need to put the, your port C. Sama dengan TCNT zero. Okay, so it will keep repeating until the overflow occurs. Okay, when the overflow occurs, which is the port C now uh, give the zero value. So what happened here is okay, you need to exit lah. All right, exit from the uh, from this. Uh, while loop here, do you need to stop the timer? No need. Okay, if you're going to stop the timers, okay, because this is coming from the PB0, the counter. So no need to stop this timer. And then after that, okay, you can finish your programs. Okay, if you're going to uh, repeat this, uh, uh, what we call here, this uh, counter continuously over and over. So next one you need to do it is, okay, you need to clear back your TOB zero flex. And then after that, you repeat from there, this TC and TV zero. Okay, that is for the timer zero programming. Okay, so this is the, ni lah, dia punya cara dia. Okay, so this is another example. Assuming that this applies to extend time zero. Okay, so this is another example, lah. All right, for the counter programming. Okay, so assuming that a uh, one hertz clock pass is fed into pin T zero, use the T or V zero flag to extend timer zero to sixty bit counter. 
and display the counter on port C and port D. Okay, so D is quite different. Eh? Okay, this one only 8 bit. Okay, now you're going to increase here so that it becomes 16 bit. Okay, so this is the, the what we call here the lucky sign. Okay, which is you have a PB0. Okay, connected to one Kurt's clock impulse, pause, and then piece port C and port D connected to LEDs. Okay, so you have a 16 LEDs connected to port D and port C. So what are you going to do here? Okay, sama jugalah dengan yang aftas tadi. Okay, mula-mula. Hashtag include avr slash io dot hish. Okay, and then start with your main program. int main void. Okay, and then here. Initialize your port C and port D as our output port. So D, D, R, C, 0, X, F, F, and D, D, R, D, 0, X, F, F. Okay, and then port B, 0 as a input port. Okay, so D, D, R, B equal to 0, B, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Zero. Okay, you can enable the pull up resistor if you want. Okay, so now enable pull up resistor, you just simply put port B sum and then zero B zero 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 one. Okay, so this is an enable pull up resistor. Okay, next, what are you going to do? Okay, so since this one here, okay, what you're going to do here is you're going to extend from 8-bit counter to 60-bit, okay, by using timer 0, okay, you don't want to use a timer 1, okay, you're going to use a timer 0. So how to do that? Okay, so what you need to do here is you need to Okay, before we start here, okay, before we start, we will uh, while loop, okay, so we clear the TCNT dahulu, okay, you clear the TCNT 0 with 0, and then the TCCR 0 settings, okay, so what would be the TCCR 0 setting? 0, B, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and this is the value that you need to put. What is the value? Okay, clock fast fed into use timer zero. Okay, it doesn't tell either to use a falling edge or rising edge. So let's last this one here. We using a rising edge. So the rising edge is one 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 one. Okay, at our phone, TCCR zero sum and then OX zero seven. Okay. once you did here, okay, we started with a while loop, okay, to monitor the TI, uh, the TOB flex. Okay, is it sama dengan kosong? Okay, under this while loop here, what happened here is you need to show it to your port C. Okay, so port C sama dengan T, C, and T, zero. Okay, so this is only for the 8 bit lah. Okay, and what happened if this value here already sampai FF, 
and it will reset to zero zero. It will exit from this loop, correct? Betul tak? Dekat port C ni, bila kamu count out the TCNT0 from 0, 0 until FF and it scroll over to 0, 0, it will exit from this loop. Okay, after it exit from this loop, what happened here is you need to extend your port D because you're going to make it a 60-bit counter. Okay, so what happened here is your port D sama dengan Port D plus with 1. Okay. So every time it exit from this loop, port D will increase by 1. It exit again, port D will increase by 1. So this is where you increase your, uh, what we call here, uh, you're going to make a 16-bit timer. And when this one here, next, what you're going to do? Okay, you need to clear your uh, TOV0. Okay, clear back your TOV0. Or you can put your T. Okay, start back your TCNT equal to zero. And then clear your TOV0 so that you can do for another round. Okay, so TIFR sama dengan put one to your TOV zero and close curly bracket and then you need to put another Y loop here so this will do it continuously okay so this is how you're going to extend from 8 bit counter to 16 bit counter by using timer zero Okay, any question up until here? Ada soalan tak? Okay, we already finished uh, for the counter programming. Okay, the next few slides is an example for the timer, timer programming. Ada soalan tak up until here? No, doctor. Tak ada ya? Okay, if no question, okay, now we go to the next slide. Okay, this is a, a, a we're going to look at this uh, exercise here or examples here. All right, so from this example, it says that write a C program, okay, to toggle all the bit of port B continuously with some delay, use timer zero, no more mode, no prescroller to generate the delay. Okay, so this one here, I just uh, leave it like this. Okay, you can do it by your own because it doesn't state what is the delay value so we, i think this one is okay you can do this uh by your own okay let's look at look, look at this one yeah okay so write a c program to toggle on the port b continue every 70 microsecond use timer zero normal mode and pre-scale it to create the delay assume that 8 megahertz is used Okay, so let's look at this one here. Okay, so you need, first we we'll draw the Atmega 32. You have a PB4. Okay, so this PB4 will toggle continually every 70 microseconds. Okay, you have the ester, given that the ester frequency is 8 megahertz and then you have the what we call here timer zero normal mode and prescale of it we have a prescale it yes so in this example here, yeah, okay, you need to generate a delay. You need to use your timer zero as a delay. So in order to do that, okay, you need to dapatkan dulu lah. Okay, normal mode, you need to find out what is your TC and T0 value. Okay, 
So masukkan dalam formula. Okay, you have a three equation. T sama dengan 1 over F. Which is equal to. Okay, 1 over F divided with free scale. Okay, and then if you uh, simplify this, actually free scale equal to A divided by F. Okay, so you have a free scale of 8 bahagi dengan 8 megahertz. So you will get 1 microseconds. So this is your D. Okay, next. This is the first equation. The second equation, okay, delay equal to T multiplied by count. Okay, and then you will get a count. What is your count? Equal to delay 7 microsecond divided with a T 1 microsecond. Then you will get 70 times. Okay. Once you get this, right next, get the TCNT. So TCNT sama dengan FF, which is a 255 minus 70 plus 1. And then you will get 255 minus 70 plus 1. You will get 186. So this is the TCNT value. Okay, so after you calculate the TCNT value, then after that, you can start with the programs. Okay, you can start with your programs. Okay, hashtag include avr slash io.h. Okay, and then initialize or define your delay. Delay function. Okay, which is void. Okay, let's name our delay here is delay one microsecond. Uh, no, 70 microsecond. Void. And then start with your main program. Okay, so under the main program, okay, you need to initialize your port B so that your port B become output port, okay, because you're going to generate this square wave here, the toggles here, okay, so port B, D, D, R, B, sama dengan O, X, F, F, so. Okay. Do you, do you have any ports to initialize except the port B? Ada lagi tak? Okay, no ports. Okay, we only have a port B. So next, what are you going to do? Okay, we use the while loops lah. While one. Okay, under this while loop, what you're going to write here is you need to generate this. This signal here, this toggle signal. Okay, mula-mula. Okay, you can send port B sama dengan kosong. Okay, you send zero to your port B. After you send zero, then you call the delay 70 microseconds. Okay, next. Port B, okay, send with this value here, 0, B, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay, only P, B, 4, eh? Okay, the rest of the port, no change lah the value. Okay, only P, B, 4, the value will toggle. Okay, and then call another delay, 70 micro seconds. Okay, so this is the easiest way lah. Okay, to do the toggle. Mula-mula, send 0. To your port B, PB4. Okay, after 70 microsecond, and then you send 
one to your PV4 and it will keep doing continuously. Okay, so we already finished the main program. Okay, now we're going to look at the delay 70 micro seven, uh, microsecond subroutine. Okay, so void delay 70 microsecond subroutine. Okay, so since this is a normal mode, okay, so for the normal mode, the first step here is to load your TCNT value. So TCNT0, what is the value? 1, 8, 6. Okay, we already calculated the TCNT value. Okay, with 1, 8, 6. The second, uh, what you call it? The second step here is set your TCCR0. Okay, what is your TCCR0 that you're going to set? 0, B, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and next you need to figure out what is the, what we call here, the value that you need to put to your pre-scale. Okay, since this is a normal mode, okay, the value here is 0 and 0, lah. figure and part is 0 and 0, and now we're going to find out what is the pre-scale for the value. What is the pre-scale value for the 8? Who want to help me? 101. Zero, one. Okay, Z zero one zero, correct? Yes. Okay, so this is the value for the pre-scale. Eight. Okay, so in Hesa decimal is zero x zero two. Okay, and the third step here, okay, you need to monitor monitor your TOB flex. What can be Okay, you need to monitor your TOB flex. So while you did the while loops, while TIFR, and we check at your TOB, either it is equal to zero or not. If yes, keep monitoring. If not, then stop the timer and then reset your. Okay, reset your TOB flex. Okay, that's it. Itu sahaja. Okay, and for the this examples here. Okay, right. See from them to toggle only port B continue every. 2 millisecond using timer 1 normal mode no pre-scale to create the delay assume the state is a megahertz so what you need to do here is you need to find out what is the tcnt1 okay for 2 millisecond delay okay after you get the tcnt value there after that you do the programming for the uh, timer 1 Okay, so for the timer one, you need to find out what is the lower byte and high byte for your TCNT and do the settings, monitor the TOB flex, and then stop the timer and clear your TOB one flex. Okay, that is for the timer programming. Any question for the timer programming? Okay, we already finished the counter programming, the timer programming. Okay, for the timer programming, you already learned about the timer 1, timer 0, and timer 2 by using normal mode and CTC. What? Other solid up until here.